Good evening and welcome to our training call for December 6th. Tonight, why an Olympic medalist and medical doctor trust their health to USANA Health Sciences. Very excited about the call tonight to have both Dr. Sam Young and Jason Parker on the call. You'll see in the, uh, I have them circled there, Dr. Sam Young over on the left and Jason Parker, silver medalist from the Torino Games for speed skating. Uh, our agenda tonight, actually I'm going to be co-hosting. It's kind of unusual for me tonight. I usually have control of the slides, but Chris is actually running the slides tonight. So I'm going to be co-hosting the call with Chris Lopez tonight. And I'm going to quickly go through our agenda. I'll go through team successes, a little bit of USANA news, and then I'm going to hand the call over to Chris Lopez and uh, he will be working with Dr. Sam Young and Jason Parker um, as they tell their stories. And then uh, Chris will also be previewing the Essentials for Life program that we're putting together here for uh, getting and retaining customers. And our motto, build it big, build it permanent. We have fun, we help people, and we make money. The amazing thing is, uh, these two stories you're going to hear tonight, is how Dr. Young actually uh, got connected with USANA Health Sciences and how he actually uses the USANA products and the USANA business to help a lot of people in his integrative medical practice. And Jason, I'm not going to give anything away, but he has an absolutely amazing story what the company and the products actually did for him and his Olympic career. So build it big, build it permanent, have fun, and help people and make money. Let's just jump right in the team successes tonight. The top growth 50 by state for the week ending 1202. Um, last week these charts were just we just had them busting full. We're a little we're a little lighter this week, but we still have some great successes to celebrate. The Integritas Group, which of course is Chris Lopez and Jason Wells in Nevada, they're number 35 for growth in the state of Nevada. And Shannon Thingpin, um, she her business is called. Uh, Salsa and Soul Fitness, I love that name. Uh, she was number 37 in Florida. Now, she's really started going after the training. For those of you that were on the call last week, she came on the call and did some interactive training with us, and it was uh, really great to have her on the call. So she's really um, learning the nuances of the business, paying attention to it, and when you do that and you put the time in on this business, it starts paying. And look at that. She's in the top row 50 in Florida, number 37. And then Jackie Ramirez, she's down in Miami, Florida. Uh, I went to the WTA with her last year where uh, USANA hosted some of us uh, distributors down there for the WTA, which, of course, USANA is a sponsor of the Women's Tennis Association. And uh, I met Jackie down there. She's a, a, a great woman building her business down in Miami. So congratulations, Jackie. And the top 50 income earners by state for the week ending, oh, look at that. Uh, it's also 12 12 uh, 2011 uh, the Integritus Group, number four, great job, Chris and Jason, and Salsa Soul and Fitness. Shannon, way to go on that top 50 income earners list. And then uh, yours truly, George Fox, and Meg Corso uh, bringing up number 37 in the state of Florida. Congratulations to everybody for the top income earners and the top 50 growth. Uh, top 50 preferred in, uh, customer enrollers by state, uh, once again for the week ending 12-2. Look at Gemma Hughes. She makes at least all three of these charts or at least one of these charts every single week. She's doing great, really rocking things up there in uh, Morgantown, West Virginia. So number one for top 50 preferred customer enrollers in Virginia. And there's Shannon again. Shannon, it's so great to see you on all of these charts again. Uh, Salsa Soul and Fitness, number two in Florida for preferred customers. And there's uh, my dear... Uh, Lovely wife, Evelyn Ojeda, number four in Florida. Um, it's interesting because I'm not on that chart, and she made that chart this week. So we got a little competition going here right in our own, right in our own home. And then Core Fitness Solutions is owned by Linda Mullins. Um, she's somebody that joined with us in my business uh, uh, about almost two years ago now, and she's standardized on it. She runs a weight loss business uh, down here in the, in the uh, Clearwater Beach area, and her business is really starting to grow, and they've standardized on uh, the Nutrimeal uh, weight loss product and uh, her clients insist on it. The few times she hasn't had enough and she's run short, she calls me up in desperation to get some more because when she goes to the local health food store for a replacement, they pretty much don't like it and they reject it. So congratulations to Core Fitness Solutions and Linda Mullins for making the top 50 preferred customers by state. And USANA's got some great news. USANA to grow in Europe. This, is, this, is, uh, this one just blew me away a few days ago when USANA announced this. Preferred customer status will soon be available to the residents of Germany, 
Austria, Spain, Italy, Luxembourg, and Ireland. This is huge. Uh, for those of you that were at the international convention, you you know that's when USANA announced that we were going into France and Belgium, and now USANA is announcing that all these other these other six countries will actually be able to start getting preferred customers there. Um, when the opening that happens in France here in the next few months, if that opening goes well, Germany and these other five countries will also be opened for distributorships. So this is absolutely huge. I mean, uh, the company is just growing by leaps and bounds right now. Um, I think, in my opinion, there's a good shot that USANA is going to go from a $500 million a year plus company, which they are right now, to easily over a billion dollars probably in the next two to five years, easy, with this kind of uh, expansive growth. Okay, USANA in the news. This isn't brand new news. Our products have been certified for sport, but they were just recently recertified. Again, they have to go continually go through a recertification process. And uh, these are some of the core USANA uh, products, the mega antioxidant, chelated minerals, active calcium, Procosa, the joint product, and our proflavanol product, all have been third-party certified for sport. This is extremely important. Uh, USANA's products... Um, meet a standard that most of the supplements in the industry don't make. And as my wife and I actually work with a lot of pregnant women, and this is as close as a pregnant woman can get to a guarantee of a pure product. Chris, if you want to go ahead and just flip to the next slide here. And this is why. Look at this. Widespread supplement contamination. Back in 2002, the International Olympic Committee actually told the athletes, don't take supplements because... 18.8% of them contain steroids, and too many of you are testing positive, and it jeopardizes your, you know, your Olympic standing as an Olympic athlete. You can, be, you can be banned. I mean, that was huge. And then in 2007, Informed Choice is a nonprofit organization that certifies products to be clean and free from banned substances. They went out and sampled 52 products, you know, randomly sampled them, so they got a good cross-section of sampling, and they found that 25% of those supplements contains traces of steroids, and 11.5% had banned stimulants. I mean, this is a huge problem in the industry, and it's getting worse and worse. And look at in 2011, uh, Consumer Lab found 30% of the multis selected for testing uh, to contain significantly more or less of an ingredient than is claimed on the label, or were contaminated with lead. Once again, my wife and I work with a lot of pregnant women, and that is of a huge concern, any kind of contamination, as well as for your normal person and a professional athlete. I want to bump to the next slide there real quick, Chris. So this is the USAN Essentials. This is our, one of our flagship products. This is what the company's been built on. Um, these products were, again, tested and found to be, you know, they, they were tested for quality, ingredients, purity, and disintegration by Consumers Labs, and our products passed with flying colors. So Consumers Labs is a third-party testing organization, and our products did not exceed California Proposition 65 levels for lead contamination, and this is very significant. I went out today and did a little looking around, and I have some information out on a couple of my websites, and I found it interesting I actually have the lawsuit that California, the actual paperwork of the lawsuit that California filed against supplement companies that were selling supplements that exceeded the Proposition 65 levels. There were 58 companies named in that lawsuit. And it reads like the who's who of supplement companies that you would see if you walked in any health food store. Um, it's, the, the names on there would just blow you away, names that a lot of people know and trust. Um, so 58 companies selling those products in California that exceeded Proposition 65 levels for lead. Now, I also did a little analysis. I went out and looked at the FDA site and found where they had tested 324 uh, vitamins for children, women, and pregnant women. And, and so I just looked at the ones for pregnant women, pregnant lactating women, and 59 products exceeded Proposition 65 levels for lead, and some of them significantly. Once again, this is what USADA is built on. We, we have an a extremely quality and effective product that most companies can't even touch. So with that, I will turn the call over to Chris Lopez. You see him up there, his smiling face up in the upper left-hand corner, and he's going to take the call from here. 
And I'm really looking forward to uh, hearing Jason's story because I've heard it and I'd love to hear it again because it's an amazing story and Dr. Sam Young has an equally great story. So with that, Chris, take it away. Hey, thanks a lot, George. And uh, as we go through, um, as Jason and Dr. Sam both share their stories and some facts about USANA, if you have questions you want to ask or some facts to clarify, write those down because at the end of the call, we will have a Q&A to either ask uh, George some questions or uh, Jason or Dr. Sam. Uh, I'm not going to give much of an introduction to uh, Jason here as he uh, really doesn't need one. You can see his accomplishments on the right-hand side. Uh, just basically understand that he's uh, had about 20-year speed skating, speed skating career, and he's been one of the most accomplished speed skaters in Canadian history. Uh, so he's got lots of uh, medals and races to uh, back that up. Uh, so just in one second, I will turn the call over to Jason. And uh, here's a picture of his, I think, about one-year-old daughter, Shelby, who will be co-hosting the call with him as he shares his story and gives you some facts here. Uh, so uh, Jason honestly works from home, and just as one of the benefits of, of working with USANA, is you actually can work from home and actually have your children around uh, while you do some work. So if you hear uh, uh, a young lady's voice adding some input during the call, uh, that belongs to that uh, cute face right there. Uh, so Jason, you're out there. Yeah, you bet. I'm here. All right. Thanks. I'll turn just the call over to you and just kind of, I mean, please share your background about, um, you know, where you started with your Olympic dream to – uh, the ups and downs you went through getting it, and finally, what helps you achieve your uh, your Olympic medal? Absolutely, thanks a lot, Chris. Well, like like Chris mentioned, I uh, I started my speed skating career when I was uh, 11 years old, and and uh, I quickly um, <laughs> started uh, kind of competing at a fairly high level. Uh, right from that first year, I started uh, racing and competing uh, 16 weekends per year. And over that time frame, during those competitions, I would race 16 races in a, in a weekend. So kind of for, for anybody that's putting uh, an awful lot of stress on, uh, on a person's body, but for, for an 11-year-old, it was just far more than, um, far more than what I could handle. And, and my body uh, was just telling me it was too much and, uh, because I ended up spending more time sick than not. I... I literally, after almost every competition, I would catch a cold or a flu or something, and it, and it, was, uh, it started getting really extremely frustrating um, because it takes time to recover from that, and it's just not uh, ideal for training. It's not ideal for competing, and it's, it's, it really isn't much fun. So uh, I was lucky, though, because my, uh, my doctor was, um, he was kind of up with a lot of research when it came to nutrition, and so he said, you know what, Jason, you're, you're putting so much stress on your body from all this co competition and all this travel that you should really be taking some, some vitamin supplements and, and antioxidants. And so he, started, he recommended a whole bunch of uh, different things that I started taking. And, so, and, and I, I want to remind you, I was 11 years old at this point, so not very old, and I started taking all kinds of different vitamins and, and, and supplements. And, and Shelby is just agreeing with me there even though she didn't know me back then. <laughs> but uh, so I, I took all, those, all the products religiously, and, and you know, I, I kept on going back to them because I kept on getting sick. And, and you know, he had me on, tried me on different antibiotics and all kinds of different things, and we got to know each other very well because I was in to see him so often. And, uh, but obviously the, the vitamins that I was taking weren't really helping that much. And, uh, I wish I could say that, that things uh, changed quickly, but unfortunately they really didn't. Um, this kind of continued on for me for, uh, for the next 10 years, um, continued on through, through my training, and, and I made the national team, amazingly, and uh, was still uh, just getting sick all the time. And at this point I was tra traveling all around the world, competing in World Cups and World Championships, and it was just getting even harder to, to stay healthy because I was spending so much time on airplanes. <laughs> and so for me, kind of what I, what I refer to as the, the final straw for, uh, for me was um, in 1997, December of 1997, 
Um, I was coming back from a, a set of World Cups uh, that were in, in Europe, and, and the last one was actually in Scandinavia. It was in Norway. And um, we, we competed, and I'd actually, I'd, I'd, I'd raced, actually raced pretty good, and, and my results were, were pretty decent. And um, I, uh, we had to uh, get up really early the next morning. We had to get up at 4 o'clock at the day after comp- competing to go and catch the train so that we could catch our plane so we could get back to Canada. And, uh, and this, was, uh, this was right around uh, the, tw- the 20th of um, or about the 18th of December. And so for any of you who've traveled <laughs> during the holiday season on, on airplanes, it's not the best time to be on a, a long-term flight. It's not, not a good time to be on, a, on an airplane uh, because there's so many people that are, are quite sick or, or sick in general. And, you know, it didn't take me very long because after the competitions that I'd had and and, uh, you know, getting up so early and my immune system being so weakened that um, throughout that, that eight-hour flight home, I had already started to feel the effects coming on of a, of a, really, bad, a really bad flu. And, and so, sure enough, by the time I got home, um, I, it was full-blown, and, and uh, I ended up having to spend, like, I think it was five days I, I was in bed for, and, and I lost, I actually lost 10 pounds. And... The reason why I say it was kind of the last straw was because the timing couldn't have been any worse um, because this had actually happened uh, 10 days before the most important competition of of my entire career, uh, the Olympic trials. So this is what I trained my whole life for. And so here I was trying to do my best to recover and get back on track so that I could achieve my dream of going to the Olympics, what I'd at this point, I'd trained for, I think it was something like 12 years. Um, and uh, so, unfortunately, I didn't make that team. And as I was um, sitting on my couch uh, with my remote control in hand, like many of you uh, watching the Olympics, I had to watch the, the Olympics on TV. But the difference was for me, I actually had to uh, I had to sit and I had to watch all of my friends, all of my teammates, um, all, of the, all, all the people who I'd grown up and trained with and competed against. I had to watch them achieve uh, my Olympic dream. And so obviously, as, as you can uh, imagine, it was truly devastating. And, and uh, at this point, it was actually, this was the second Olympics that I had missed. I missed in 94 as well because I'd got sick at those trials too. And so obviously, I'm sure many of you can imagine how devastated I was. And, and, um, and I want you to, to really to understand that as, as a, uh, a national team athlete, I had coaches, I had a strength coach, I had a physiologist, I had sports psychologist, I had a registered dietitian, I had uh, physiologists, I had you know, all these different people, all these people, their job, their purpose is to help help me to achieve that Olympic dream, to prepare me the best way possible so that I could go out there and perform so that I could represent my country and bring back an Olympic medal. So I had all these people that were doing all this research and, and, and it, it was their job to keep me healthy and they were failing at it for some, for some reason. And so obviously I decided that there was a missing piece of the puzzle, so I decided that, you know what, uh, I'm just going to go out and I'm going to start really doing some research and uh, just really start digging into the nu- nutrition because there must be something that, that I was missing. Because at this point, I was still taking all different tor- sorts of uh, nutritional supplements. I had a good friend, one of my best friends, worked at a health food store. <laughs> and so every month he would call me up and he'd be like, hey, Jay, you got to try this because this will help keep you healthy. Or uh, same thing every month, uh, month after month. And nothing ever really seemed to make much of a difference because I still kept getting sick. And so I just started reading everything that I could find. I read book after book. And, and um, you know, thankfully, I came across um, one paragraph in, in, a, in one book that literally it, it probably changed the whole outcome of my career. Uh, and that book was Optimum Sports Nutrition by Dr. Michael Colgan. And it was written in 1992. And in that book, he, um, Dr. Colgan wrote about this, this scientist and the research that he was doing on, on the human cell, 
how it was going to revolutionize the whole industry of nutrition. And that doctor, his name was Dr. Myron Wentz. And so I thought that, you know, that was pretty cool because at the time I was, uh, I was doing my kinesiology degree. My, my major was exercise physiology. And so I knew about cells. And uh, when I had heard the, the research that Dr. Wentz had done on the human cell and the research that he'd gone into keeping those cells healthy, healthy in vitro, and that he could actually keep cells alive basically indefinitely, uh, I thought that that was really cool um, because being in exercise physiology, I know that generally cells don't live very long. As I'm here blabbering away to you, to you um, you're going to have you know, literally millions of cells that are going to die off and be replaced. And so that was a, a real big thing for me. So I wanted to find out what this doctor once was doing and so came across some, some further information that – that, um, that said that he started this company called USANA. And so, I mean, being a nutritional company, I was, um, you know, I have, I have to be honest, I was, I was really skeptical because I'd tried so many different products and nothing ever really seemed to help. And so, you know, I was really skeptical, but I was still, I was so intrigued by this doctor's background. And I, I made the decision um, looking back, it was probably one of the best decisions I ever made. I made the decision to try the product anyways. And so I did. I, I tried them, and, and, you know, after, I didn't really notice any huge changes right away. Um, but after, you know, after about a month or so, I, I started noticing that I was sleeping better and, and starting to, to have a little more energy. And, and uh, after a couple months, I, I noticed that I was recovering better from my workouts. And, and then after about... I, can't, I think it was about between 90 and, and 120 days. Um, that's when I really noticed the big changes because we started getting back into cold and flu season. And something, it was just, it was absolutely, it, it was a total turning point for me because for the first time in my career, I was able to finally uh, maintain my health. You know, I, I just, I wasn't getting the same, just those brutal cold and flus that I was so used to. And, and for me, they would last, sometimes they would last up to two weeks. And so that, that just kind of stopped. And, and so now that's actually, that was 13 years ago that I started using the products. And, and uh, I, I hardly ever get sick. And if I do, it lasts for like three or four days, unlike the, the two weeks that it used to. And, and so I was, obviously I was really excited because finally something was making a difference and I was able to train better and, and, and finally get some consistent training and, and get on top of my health. You know, I was able to finally answer, find that answer to, uh, to what had been, been going on. And, and uh, you know, looking back, I'm just, I'm so, so grateful to, to Dr. Wentz for, for starting this company, USANA, um, because I honestly, I know in my heart that in, on, uh, on February 17th, of uh, 2006, that uh, if I hadn't have found this company, I wouldn't have been able to stand on that podium and receive my my Olympic silver medal. I I truly I truly believe in my heart of hearts that that I would never would have made it there because I would have I never would have been able to I would have been so frustrated with my health I would have retired much earlier than I did. I wouldn't have seen it through to the end, and so I just I am so so grateful and and so now. Um, now that I've retired from, from speed skating, it's, uh, things have kind of have, have changed a little bit now that, uh, um, you know, when, right when I retired after you know, spending 12 years on the national team, um, you know, a good friend of mine, he, he kind of asked me, you know, what, I, what was kind of next. You know, I, I achieved all my goals and all my dreams with speed skating and, and hit that pinnacle in my career. And, and um and he, he said, well, what do you want to do? And, and I said, you know, you know what, I really would love to do something where I get to help people, um, and I want to still have the, the flexibility and the freedom to, uh, to, to kind of do some of my own thing. I, I don't want to have somebody telling me when I, you know, when I have to go to work, when I can take my holidays, how much money I make, because I, I was used to having a pretty, a pretty free life, pretty flexible life, and... and um, so he said, well, you, you know, you've had such amazing experience with the products that you should maybe look how the business side works. And, and uh, one thing that I, I didn't mention, too, was that 
um, because of the amazing experience I had with the products, um, I managed to um, to talk USANA into um, supplying the, the Canadian speed skating team with all the products. Because I knew if I had such amazing results that that uh, there was a lot of other athletes and a lot of my teammates and friends that could use those same results. And so USANA was very gracious to sponsor the the Canadian team and and. And since uh, USANA was based in the U.S., they couldn't sponsor the, U- the Canadian team and not the U.S. team, so the U.S. team got sponsored as well. And that has turned into a program now where there's over 600 uh, USANA athletes. And um, in the last Olympics in Vancouver, there was uh, right around 100 athletes that competed uh, at those games uh, for USANA. And, and since USANA has started doing these sponsorships, since I, since I uh, kind of got them going on this, uh, USANA athletes have won over 70 Olympic medals. So I'm going to say that again. Uh, USANA athletes have won over 70 Olympic medals. And literally, probably, I, I haven't calculated yet, but I, I kind of would like to. I bet you anything, it's in this well into the thousands of World Cup and World Championship medals. So they've, they've really changed the lives of literally hundreds hundreds and, and probably thousands of, of athletes beyond the USANA athletes. And, and so now, for me, um, now that I've, I've started my own business and wanted to work for myself, kind of my role has shifted now that i got this very talkative 13-month-old little girl that is just the epitome of health. And, and uh, I want to make sure that, that I continue spreading the message. I want to make sure that I look after my health health so I'm here for her for the long term but I also want to make sure that I give her the best life that she can possibly have too um, health wise and and financially Um, so I've had such amazing experiences that that's part of the reason why um, why I wanted to be a part of this essentials for life program is because my life has been blessed so much that I just think that there's so many people that need to find out more about not only these products but the other ways to be able to stay on track with your health too. So, so Chris, that's kind of a, a long-winded uh, <laughs> response to you there, but is there? Uh... No, that wasn't long one at all. That was uh, uh, that was wonderful. It's probably about the 40th or 50 times, 40th or 50th time I've heard your story. But every time I do, uh, it gets me kind of more excited about Usana and just uh, on all sorts of levels. Now, I've got the benefit of knowing Jason for a number of years now, and, and we've become good friends, and I'm going to ask you a few questions because you kind of shared a couple of stories with me over the years that I think really um, drive home some, some uh, powerful points. Um, you told me, I can't remember the exact figures, Jason, about what your, what your world ranking was before USANA and what your world ranking was after being on the on the USANA products for a few months, can you kind of go over those numbers and timeline with us? Yeah, that uh, that first year when I started with USANA, I went from I was occasionally like cracking the the top twenty in the world um, to I went ranked as high as number two in the world. So like I I had some some times where I was in that top twenty and had some good results, but it was that first year um, after having the getting on the products consistently was saw just a, a really big change and and progression in in uh, in my results and I mean I just can't help but think is you know a big part of it was due to the fact that I was finally able to um, just maintain my health so I could train more effectively and more efficiently. And was Usana like I met, I know there's a lot of variables that go into that, um, but was Usana like the biggest kind of variable you you changed in your training and nutrition regimen? Yeah, it was actually the only thing that I did change. Um, I had, uh, you know, I had I had similar similar coaching. I had did similar uh, training camps, similar training. Um, you know, the only thing that I really I really did change was, <clears throat> I mean, my diet was even fairly similar because I had, I had been eating. That's one of the things I didn't mention is that I've always been very um, kind of anal retentive when it comes to to nutrition. So I always ate really healthy. So that didn't really change too much either. It was just uh, actually adding in the, the USANA products that, um, I mean, I, I believe made a, made a huge difference. And you, you've been taking the products for 13 years, right? Yes. How many 
how many days or doses have you missed? <laughs> People probably aren't going to believe this, but I haven't gone a single day in 13 years without taking the products. So it's something that literally I, I made a commitment. When, uh, when, I, was gonna, when I try something, I, I usually um, I commit to doing it. I wanted to make sure that I did it, did it well, and uh, I wanted to do it consistently because I knew that consistency – that's what I was missing in my training was consistency, so I knew to get the best results from the products, I needed to use them consistently. Um, so I literally I've taken them probably two, between two to four times a day, every single day for, for those 13 years, not including the shakes and the bars and the other stuff that I've used too. Wow. That's, uh, that's, that's amazing. And I, I kind of wanted to highlight those points because I think oftentimes, um, you know, with with the uh, with modern marketing and and so many you know prescription drugs that that relieve you know sinuses and hours, that oftentimes people think, you know, you know they don't give supplements, you know, a long enough chance to actually get into their body and and feel it. I mean, what would you say if someone's just starting a supplement? You know, what's the minimum they should take forward or? You know, kind of what's the commitment there based on your own experience as an athlete and also with your educational background? Well, I know, I know for me personally that it was in between the, the three to six month range that I noticed the biggest changes in my health. Um, so I like to any new customers that I get or any people that are looking at starting, I like to try and, and get them to that, I mean, at least a, a minimum of three months and ideally a six-month commitment where they take the, take the products diligently like they make the decision to to really do it. I mean, you know, like I decided that that like I said that I wanted to commit to doing this right and to doing it consistently uh, so that I'd get the best results. You look at like you look at uh, at training. You know, when I trained, I trained six days a week, um, up to eight hours a day. I so that's you know forty eight hours forty eight hours a week up to. I didn't just train for two days, 24 hours straight, you know, and, and expect to get good results. I had to do a little bit every single day. So it's the same thing with these products is you need to use them multiple times, like it, twice a day, every day to get the best results. And you need to make the, I mean, ideally, you need to make the commitment that you're going to use the products lifelong. Like I, I know I'm going to be a lifer with you, Sonic, because it's changed my life so much. I'd never go a day without them. And people need to, to realize that if they really want to help their health, if they really want to get on, on track with their health, they need to make a commitment to their health long term. And that's how they're going to have the, the best results. And uh, I, I also I, I tell people a lot of the time, too, that you know, some people notice results really quickly. Like I have, I've had customers that within days have been able to notice results. Um, and then I've had, have had some people that it takes a little longer, and, and I also tell people that, you know what, you may not feel really different uh, because it's not, you're not taking a, a drug, you're taking nutrition, you're taking optimal nutrition. So the bottom line is even if you don't feel a huge difference, the, bottom, it, the research is there that you know that you're providing the nutrients that your cells need on a daily basis. So whether you feel it or not, you are you are doing benefit to the body. All right, I got I got one more question for you because um, I think probably most people are like me. Um, we have not competed in the Olympics, and it's not on our on our list to do them anytime soon. So, I mean, how, how does all this you know information and all the the science that goes into USANA, How does that apply to the average person. I mean, if I'm not competing in Olympics, do do I need to take the same, you know, you know, do I need to take the same product or is it overkill or how does that apply to people like me exactly? Yeah, absolutely. That's a great question. Um, the bottom line is, is this, is that, you know, like you said, I know not everybody's goal is to, to be in the Olympia, Olympics, but the thing is, is that everybody has cells and everybody's cells need optimal nutrition. <laughs> Because if they don't get optimal nutrition, that's when the body breaks down and, and we end up with some sort of disease, be it degenerative or, or what have you. And the, the thing to keep in mind is that, yeah, yes, currently there's over 600 athletes, professional and Olympic athletes using these products, but these products aren't designed for athletes. These products are designed 
for the average everyday person, but because they're so so unique, they're so different that the quality is so much better. That the the potency and the purity and all these different things that that if you haven't heard of yet, you will hear of down the road. Because of all those things, that's why they're so amazing for for ever, for everybody. So the bottom line, if the pickiest people in the world, and like George uh, did a really great job of of going through. Um, people who have to be really careful with their health. I look back, and I'm just I'm so grateful because I mean, uh, like the the research shows that almost 25% of the products on the market have residues that could potentially lead to a positive drug test. Um, I was lucky I didn't end my end my career, but I know a lot of you aren't you know obviously worried about drug tests for the most part. But what you should be worried about is what you're taking. You need to know what's going in your body uh, because these these products that do have contamination, if they, if they have steroids or have other things, we don't know what the long-term effects might be of using those, those ingredients long-term. So, so, I mean, the bottom line, like I said, is, is that USANA products, they're designed to feed the cells. They're designed for the average person, but they're trusted by the best athletes in the world. So that's, that's kind of the, the best that, that I can say there. Well, that that was a, a a great answer, and I've actually got probably the the ultimate test for for you know people using the products and how much you trust your your health with your product or with Usana. Um, while your wife was pregnant with with uh, Shelby, now what what products or prenatal did she take? <laughs> well, there was never any questions. She was using the the Usana Health Pack plus the Biomega. And uh, some of the digestive enzymes, she never took any products other than USANA because I wouldn't trust her health or my little girl's health to anything else. Because just there, there's just, in, from, from the, my, my years of, uh, of research, I just haven't, I haven't come across anything that, that I could really, um, really put my faith in like I have USANA. USANA tends to continually go above and beyond um, when it comes to, to, to testing and product quality and, and everything that, I mean, like you say, the ultimate test is, is what you want to do for your, your children. And, and my little girl, she's just sitting on the stairs looking at me right now, is the most precious thing in the world, and I just I couldn't trust my, her health to, uh, to anything else. All right. Well, thank you so much. And um, uh, just one final comment here, I, I think, just brings even more more validity to to what Usana does with athletes. Is I mean, oftentimes companies, you think of big companies like uh, you know Nike, you know how many millions of dollars do they pay Tiger Woods to to wear the Nike swish on his you know on his uh, golf gear and things like that? Um, athletes come to Usana uh, not because Usana is paying the money. But because the quality of the products and what those products can help them do to achieve their health and athletic goals. I mean, do you have anything to add on there, Jason? I just wanted to emphasize that point. Yeah, I mean that's that's the thing. Like I've actually I've been approached by other nutritional companies to endorse their products, and they're willing to pay me a lot of money to to do it. And uh, as an athlete in in Canada, an Olympic athlete in Canada, um, a lot of people don't realize, but we don't really make much money. I lived off of 1100 bucks a month for most of my career. That's, that was what my, my living allowance was. And, and uh, so, I mean, obviously I could use, the, could use that money, but I just I couldn't bring myself to it ethically um, because I wouldn't be using their products. You know, even if they, they paid me, I wouldn't be using it just because um, I, I just couldn't believe in it the, the same way that I, I do with USANA. And, and, I mean, like I'll – I, I always like to, to let people know too that I always I'm always looking at, at the latest things on the market. Like there's always the latest and greatest thing, and, and sometimes I get caught up with some of the the fancy you know marketing and advertising campaigns and and get intrigued and and so I'll I'll take a look at, at see what what they're they're all talking about and and every single time um, I've always been uh, been disappointed. It's just nothing has ever. Um, stood up to my criteria the way USANA has. All right. Well, thanks so much uh, for sharing your story. And um, if you could, as long as uh, your daughter will allow you to, please hang on for the uh, next 20 or 30 minutes. 
while we uh, talk with Dr. Sam and hopefully can hang around and answer some questions. If you can't, we'll understand. Uh, yeah, you bet. I'm sure everyone would appreciate it. Absolutely. All right. Well, our next um, guest speaker for the night is Dr. Sam Young, uh, who now lives in Florida, and he goes by Dr. Sam. And you can see I've got uh, quite a few of his uh, uh, bullet points of his background on the slides there. Uh, but real quickly, he has over 30 years of experience as a family physician. He did serve in the first Gulf War back in like 1990 and 91, uh, working with soldiers, POWs, and refugees. So he's got a very interesting, um, uh, you know, interesting experiences, and has probably seen a lot more than the average family physician uh, has in his years of uh, practicing medicine. And so Dr. Sham's got some incredibly uh, powerful stories to share and a different perspective uh, to kind of talk about, you know, what makes him trust his health with USANA. And he can uh, really go into some medical and scientific details about, you know, what USANA has done and really what makes it so different. Uh, so, Dr. Sam, are you out there? Yes, <clears throat> sure I am, Chris. Uh, All right. Thank you. All right. Well, thank you so much. And I'm just going to uh, kind of turn the call over to you um, to kind of share your story about, uh, and I'll just to let everyone know, I think it was back in 2009, um, Dr. Sam and I kind of met, uh, met at, a, uh, at a convention where another medical doctor was speaking about nutritional medicine, and that's kind of how Dr. Sam got plugged into USAN and how he and I started uh, becoming friends. So I'll kind of let you share your story, Dr. Sam. I appreciate it. Thank you. I always love to hear Jason talk. I, I tell you what, he's got an incredible story himself. And uh, um, uh, I have never won an Olympic medal, but I, I, I will say that uh, in May of this year, I, I won my own personal Olympic medal, and I'll try to try to lead up uh, with my story specifically to that, something that was uh, very, very meaningful specifically for me. Uh, I'm an old Army doctor. Uh, I, you know, uh, started medical school back in 1970. And uh, um, uh, you know, loved the army. Had a wonderful career, uh, specifically in the U.S. Army. Traveled the world. Uh, uh, saw a lot of different places and did a lot of interesting things. Have been involved with both uh, clinical medicine and academic medicine, and uh, and uh, also uh, uh, have been in some leadership positions as well. Uh, uh, the the Gulf War deployment was uh, probably one of the the, uh, the highlights of my life. I felt like that was a job, uh, the, the the first job that I was meant to do, and uh, was actually to be there. That was a a, a very uh, 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 very good experience for me to be in that that type of a situation and actually to work so closely with uh, uh, soldiers and in, uh, in, in that type of environment. Uh, this job that I have right now, though, is the is the second job that I was intended to do. And uh, in between, I've 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 had a great deal of experience doing some doing some other things, but. But, but really, the, the, if we really get down to the, the, the gist of my story, is that as I got into my mid-30s, I, I really started to have more and more problems with my own health. I, uh, I started to put on weight. I started to have problems with blood pressure. My blood sugar levels started going up. I started to experience some significant depressions as well. Uh, I was having, uh, you know, a lot of difficulties, a lot of things that, that come on in life, and a lot of people sort of expect, well, you know, you're just getting a little older and you sort of expect those things. Um, but I just did not feel well. I just was not doing well. And this actually went on and on for, for uh, close to, to close to 20 years. And um, uh, I became certainly frustrated with my own health and I, and I felt like I was really not able to, uh, to do my best for, for patients' health as well. I became sort of frustrated as a family physician. Uh, I felt like I was sort of treading water not only with myself but with many of my uh, many of my patients did not feel I was really making an impact in health at all um, and, and helping individuals and it was about uh, the year 2006 I was still um, uh, taking care of soldiers at that time but I really 
developed a, a, an interest in looking at other aspects of health. I uh, started to do a lot of reading and investigating and, and talking with other individuals, other health professionals about integrative medicine and, and uh, different types of complementary uh, medicine as well to help uh, augment uh, the conventional medicine that I was, I was actually trained in. Um, and the reading, some of the reading that I did, I did a uh, the, one of the books that was very um, uh, that I read very early on was a, a book by Andrew Weil, uh, uh, an integrative physician from uh, Arizona, who um, um, wrote a book called Eight Weeks to Optimal Health, and he really looked at a the holistic view of health. You know, uh, certainly uh, modern medicine has its strengths. Uh, you know, and and there are many good things that that traditional medicine uh, does in in the U.S., but there are many other aspects to health. Uh, you know, certainly nutrition is something that we that uh, that we don't we don't think enough about, and certainly exercise. We we know that that's so important, but also mental health, looking at things to take care of ourselves. Uh, uh, you know, both mentally and spiritually as well. Um, so there were many many other aspects to that. But one of the things that intrigued me about uh, Dr. Weil was that Dr. Weil had a um, uh, he 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 emphasized appropriate nutritional supplementation and this was something that in my uh, you know the 20 odd years prior uh, to this point um, this was something that was not stressed in my either in my personal life uh, I, I did not take vitamins uh, you know as a, as a child growing up it was just not something that my family uh, uh, was was doing uh, and certainly in, in, in my medical school and in my subsequent family practice residency and in my clinical practice, I, I was the, the proverbial doctor who said, you know, oh, you know, vitamins, uh, you know, you don't need to take them. You're just uh, wasting your money and, you know, you can get everything you need from, from what you eat. You know, you just need to eat well and really sort of uh, poo-pooed vitamins for years and years and decades and decades. So I, I had very little experience specifically with that. But I was intrigued by what Dr. Weil said specifically in, in his book. And, and so that led to, to many other interests. And in uh, 2007, I actually had the opportunity to change uh, sort of career paths, uh, uh, stepped away from the, the Army career and um, moved into uh, actually two different uh, integrated practices that I was working in where I had the, the great privilege to work with uh, chiropractors very closely, uh, acupuncture. Uh, naturopaths. Uh, I was working with uh, uh, physical trainers and uh, nutritionists and massage therapists and was really learning a great deal about preserving wellness through primary lifestyle choices. Um, I, I decided that, you know, I really need to take care of myself first. If I want to take care of other people, I need to really take care of me first, and then I'm better able to take care of others as well. So I began on a, um, uh, a multiple, multiple vitamin and, uh, and mineral um, uh, combination as well as official supplement and recommending those things, of course, to my patients at the same time and continued this consuming books and reading and reading and reading and, and uh, experiencing different practices, traveling to when I could to different areas to learn uh, different things. But quite honestly, there was still something that was missing, and, and it took me a couple of years to really find that catalyst that really unlocked my real uh, health potential. Uh, but finding that approximately two years later led to very dramatic changes in my life. And if you look at the, uh, the lower uh, right-hand, uh, the pictures in the lower right-hand corner, you'll see a picture of me at 200 pounds in June of, of 2009. And that was taken here in, uh, or in, near here. This was taken in Jacksonville, Florida. The picture in the middle is me three months later. And that was due to the catalyst that I had found for health. I mean, that was a 38-pound weight loss in, in three months that uh, I, I can honestly say I am still in the 160s right now. Um, I'm not 162 because, you know, I put all, all this muscle bulk. You know, no, I'm, I'm, but I, I have been able to maintain that weight loss now for, for well over uh, two and a half years. And uh, you can see uh, that 
picture at the top was not even my maximum weight. Uh, um, uh, that uh, that was an Army picture when I was 212 pounds. I was actually up to 217 at one time, but always carrying around about 200 pounds. So very remarkable catalyst that that, that I found that actually was. Uh, 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 the catalyst, in my opinion, the thing that really initiated my health changes was the Asana Essentials. As an integrative physician, I was being asked to uh, evaluate uh, uh, supplements. People would, uh, you know, as a physician, people bring in bags of medicines, you know, but uh, as an integrative physician, they bring in their medicines, but they also bring in their supplements. And I would li- literally have people come in with grocery bags worth of supplements. And so I was, uh, over the two years prior to actually finding Asana, I had been doing a lot of individual looking at bottles and labels and looking at stuff. And when I found the USANA Essentials and actually compared what was in this vitamin compared to the bags of what I was looking at, and, and oh, by the way, it was also a pharmaceutical-grade uh, manufactured product, and it was third-party certified, and it was optimal dose, and I could replace with those two bottles, the essentials, uh, you know, the mega antioxidants and the chelated minerals, those two bottles. Models, I was able to replace for myself and for many of my patients, you know, four or five or six or seven or more different products that were made by different manufacturers of different uh, qualities. And, and uh, so it, it, that was a, a tremendous finding that I found. Now, now I, I did notice early on, probably within the first few months, started noticing significant uh, improvements specifically with my health. I also uh, altered my diet and, and became, uh, uh, I won't say a vegetarian, but a flexitarian and a low glycemic uh, advocate. Uh, and, uh, and so the weight loss was, was uh, helped certainly specifically with those. But the, the catalyst, the thing that allowed me to actually get to the point where I could make those changes was the fact that I was feeding my cells things that they needed for decades and decades and decades and decades and that they were not getting through my nutrition and they were not getting through the, through the two years worth of the previous supplementations that I was using. I found, uh, you know, after the, the weight loss, uh, you know, the blood pressure problem just went away. And uh, uh, in conjunction with my physician, over the next uh, uh, year, I was able to be weaned down off of my blood pressure medicines to the point where I was no longer taking any of those. Uh, I also, my migraine headaches, uh, I was taking a medication to help prophylax those and taking, uh, uh, you know, another medication in order to help, uh, you know, for the flares specifically that they had. And I was able to reduce that down quite significantly. And uh, over the past, and I'm also, you know, I'm an individual that's pretty open and honest, and, and uh, depression is a problem that has been significant, uh, uh, you know, for many, many, many of my patients, and, and for many of us, it's, it's something that is a very significant uh, issue. But I was actually, in conjunction with my provider, uh, over, the, over a two-year period of time from starting uh, the USANA products and maintaining this weight loss and changing my lifestyle, uh, I reached my Olympic goal, which was in May of 2011. Uh, I was removed from all prescription medications. And so at this point in my life, after 25 years of having uh, a dependence on some type of uh, pharmaceutical medication in conjunction with my physician and them knowing what I'm taking as far as my USANA products and, and uh, my commitment to, to lifestyle, good nutrition and exercise and, and, and taking care of my health both uh, mentally and emotionally and uh, having fun in life as well, by doing those type of lifestyle changes, I was able to actually uh, get off of, of, of each and every medicine. And I can guarantee you, uh, uh, Jason, that's worth, to me, that's worth a gold medal there. That, uh, that's at least a silver and, and, and I would say even a gold for me personally. So uh, I'm so excited actually to be involved in what's going on now with this uh, Essentials for Life program. Uh, we are, we're developing a program to help individuals with lifestyle changes uh, because if an individual wants to improve their health, and they've got to have that desire first, but if they truly want to improve their health and they are willing to make some simple lifestyle choices, then we can help them with that. And what a wonderful job to have for the rest of my career to actually be able to help 
people improve their health. And I truly believe that the catalyst that helped me was the Asana Essentials. And I also truly believe that there are two products that um, by far and away almost everyone in the U.S. Could, could potentially benefit from, and that would be the Asana Essentials and the fish oil supplement, the Biomega. And so, uh, you know, we talk about the 80% solution, and we can always add in other things, but I think as a core base for supplementation, those are two that, that I think are very, very important. By taking those products on a consistent basis, and, and I, I personally have found and have seen in many individuals increased energy levels, increased, uh, which, which helps them continue with an exercise program, which helps with their you know, uh, health goals as well. I've also seen individuals who have responded well uh, uh, with, their, with their attitude, their mental attitude. They just uh, have more energy. They feel better. They're not suffering from many of the maladies that, that have been gone on for years and years and years. So, so I'm very excited to be involved specifically in this and specifically to, to, to sort of come down to a core uh, 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 supplements that actually uh, can help individuals achieve many of their of their health goals um, and their lifestyle change goals itself. So um, I tell you, it's wonderful every week to uh, to, to talk to uh, Chris and to Jason. Uh, we we have been having over the past uh, a number of months uh, uh, weekly uh, conference calls while we've been planning uh, uh, this uh, project and getting things together. And uh, they are two tremendous individuals that um, that I would have never met had it not been uh, for USANA and uh, and so I'm I'm uh, very grateful just as as Jason was for uh, for the opportunity to help uh, continue to serve others and to do it now uh, in a way to help uh, promote health um, as opposed to uh, simply managing chronic disease, which is uh, what I spent the, uh, I'll, I'll say, the first half of my career actually doing. So, But uh, I, that's it in a nutshell. And, uh, and uh, how are you? Well, well, thank you so much for, uh, uh, for sharing that, Dr. Sam. I mean, you, you did a, a wonderful job of pulling down 30-plus uh, years of experience and uh, lots of medical and scientific facts into a, a good short nutshell. So uh, I really appreciate it. I know everyone else does on the call. And um, you, you alluded to exactly what I wanted to talk with you guys about next was this Essentials for Life program. Um, I, I, I always kind of have a, a project in the back of my mind where I've always wanted to uh, just, you know, get get some – Get the right people in the boss and have a have a great resource to use so we can uh, educate preferred customers, whether they're potential preferred customers or current preferred customers, and uh, you know also new associates. Because I'm sure many people on the call have run this pro you know this issue before. You saw us so many so much great information out there. Uh, you know the news is always changing. Uh, science is always you know new studies are coming out. And oftentimes it's hard to explain, you know, all this knowledge we have about nutrition and eating well and USANA to a new person or you end up, you know, puking uh, too much information on the person or you get muddled in scientific fact or, you know, and, and all this, uh, you know, scientific data and things that people don't quite understand that the power of USANA uh, sometimes does not get uh, properly communicated to people. And so I've been thinking that I've just never been able to get the project off on the ground for various reasons. And then the, right around convention this last year, kind of the, the stars aligned, so to speak, um, where kind of uh, I say the right people, and the right people is working with Jason Parker and Dr. Sam, because as you've heard, they both got some very powerful stories with completely different backgrounds that complement each other. And um, and they're also some of the most like genuine and sincere people that I know. So that's exactly the type of uh, author and face you want with a program uh, when communicating a brand like Usana and Health. And so um, over the last couple months, we've done quite a few uh, kind of how to boil things down, how to explain things, how to come up with um, a program to be able to you know 
keep people up to date on new information on new USANA products, but also as a way as a, when a new person comes in, how can we give them these bite-sized pieces about you know all these great stories that uh, you know people like Dr. Sam and Jason and hundreds and actually thousands of other people in USANA have, and all the background, all these little little details. Um, so uh, really, we kind of came to this conclusion: this healthy acronym. And uh, Dr. Sam and Jason, I'm going to kind of turn the call over to you for a minute to kind of go through uh, through what this means and how you guys came up with this. Well, I don't I don't have Shelby to take care of, so why don't I jump in here uh, <laughs> first of all, and I'll let uh, I'll let uh, Jason correct me as I go along. Uh, the, the healthy mnemonic uh, we just thought that that was appropriate, and uh, we've divided it uh, into seven sections here. Of course, uh, the first one is human cellular nutrition, which is also uh, we also call that science based nutritional supplementation, and that is what I feel the catalyst is is or what we feel the catalyst is that's going to help each of the other uh, each of the other uh, six uh, specific uh, aspects there certainly exercise extremely important a moderate consistent uh, exercise is uh, the, the the health uh, uh, benefits from exercise are, are very well known to many many individuals but getting an individual to the point where they can actually get out on a regular basis or make healthy exercise exercise choices is so important. Mental attitude is so important as well, and that's what the A stands for in, in healthy is attitude, and, and trying to get individuals to um, 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 uh, be positive about uh, their changes and to have a sense of humor and give themselves a, you know a little benefit of the doubt try not to be so hard on themselves look at the successes that we have and and concentrate specifically on those and and don't worry so much about the the twenty percent of the the uh, less than ideal days as well so those that's that's crucial, and certainly the essentials and the biomega help with that. If we uh, jump just uh, back to some of the science, there have been tremendous studies that have been done that have shown for individuals with anxiety disorders and with depression that those people may actually benefit from things like the uh, omega-3 fatty acids, but also appropriate levels of vitamin D and and uh, B vitamins as well. So so if we can help improve attitudes through good cellular nutrition, that goes along with the program as well. Once again, our catalyst being the essentials and the, and the biomega. Low glycemic nutrition uh, is, is a good nutrition, and especially low glycemic nutrition is also, uh, for me, is a no-brainer. I have never seen uh, individuals be able to, to lose weight and maintain weight loss in my 30 years of clinical practice as well as uh, I've seen with the uh, USANA uh, concentration on low glycemic nutrition and so understanding that and and making those choices on a daily basis is also very good but once again going back to the human cellular nutrition catalyst optimal doses of vitamin D for instance have been correlated with improvement in weight loss as well as other uh, appropriate uh, uh, vitamin mineral supplements so, you know when we're when we're trying to lose weight that's the time when we need good nu uh, good nutritional supplementation probably more than than any other time because uh, individuals that are on weight loss uh, uh, diets uh, tend to have nutritional uh, deficits during that period of uh, caloric restriction. Teamwork being so important, uh, you know, surrounding yourself with individuals who are uh, also going through other team members who are also going through similar experiences, individuals that have already been there that can act as, as coaches or mentors as well, so very, very important. Uh, the home environment, this is something that uh, 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 the Healthy Home uh, Book Tour has, has really helped, and that book uh, has really opened my eyes uh, a great deal about some of the uh, toxins that I was exposing myself to unknowingly for years and years and years and years, and how making some some small, uh, easy choices 
can actually help reduce that toxic burden down that I have. So educating individuals on the on the home environment is so important. And finally, uh, the Y stands for your skin, the largest organ in the body and something that um, uh, is exposed to the world. And uh, things that we put on it can be absorbed into the bloodstream. Uh, uh, protecting it is also so very, very important. But, uh, you know, that's th- this is an aspect of health that uh, that is often neglected as well not only in adults but also uh, also in children so so trying to uh, protect our skin and to decrease down our, our our contact with things that actually will penetrate the skin and potentially do harm so that's the healthy mnemonic uh, and uh, we are uh, uh, producing modules certainly at this point in each of these specific areas uh, with our key concentration initially being human cellular nutrition. So that was that was a really well well put uh, there, Dr. Sam, and and uh, not not a whole lot left for for me to say. But um, does that mean, I guess so kind of the the big thing, like you you said, uh, starting with the human cellular nutrition, what we wanted to do is is obviously we want to provide a program that is all encompassing that that really gives people the basics on how to uh, really uh, bring health into their lives and be able to live a healthy life long term. And when we were looking at, at how to create this, we really saw that what we wanted to look at first was the thing that was going to be the easiest change to make because obviously change is, is challenging for, for the most part. And, and we wanted to look at, okay, well, what is the most significant game changer, like what is the easiest one that we can do, but can also make the biggest impact and really create our foundation based off of that. And that's why we decided to start with human cellular nutrition, because um, like for, for me personally, um, I did a lot of, a lot of these other things I, I did quite well, but it was really, once I added that in, it was almost like the, the missing piece of the puzzle um, that really enabled me to, to go from, uh, from you know, being world class to one of the best in the world. And so that's what we really want to help other people do, but do it in a way that's e- the easiest way possible. And so when, when t- looking at the 80-20 rule, how 80% of your results come from 20% of what you do, we look at human cellular nutrition being that 20% that will get you 80% of the results. Obviously, every component is important. Um, they're all, like if you're missing one of any of these, you're, you're going to have challenge. Like one thing I didn't mention in, in my story is that even after I did find USANA, I did miss another Olympics. Um, but where that came from was, was attitude and mindset. So that's why I wanted to make sure that, that we, really, we all really wanted to make sure that we included this in the program, that people, that they're really truly able to make a commitment. And, and if they don't go into this with the right mindset, if they don't make health a priority and commit to their health, over the long term, then they're not going to get those results. And so I'm not going to go through all these because Dr. Sam, you did an amazing job, but I just wanted to really add that in that we really we want to do everything we can to, to give back because obviously our lives have been impacted so much by this company, and, but there's so many more people that, that need to know this information, uh, and, and we really want this to be a, a game changer for people and make a huge contribution and a huge difference in this world. Wow, thanks a lot, guys. You guys did an excellent job of explaining that and uh, just seeing some all the key points there. And I'm just going to – I'll kind of wrap up and I'll open the call for questions uh, that anyone may have for, for Jason and Dr. Sam here regarding the products uh, and or their stories. And to kind of recap, the Essentials for Life program is a program that three of us are working on with Dr. Sam and, and Jason Parker authoring it. Uh, getting the content going, and we we put that healthy acronym in place because we wanted something. We we had a hard time figuring out how best to explain it, where we needed you know some structure, but it couldn't be completely rigid because um, you know we learn new things in in uh, in science or about health, or different people sometimes have you know are really missing one of those areas and they really need improvement on there. So we want to keep it. Um, flexible, so people could pinpoint where they wanted the where they wanted or they needed the most work on, 
and also uh, keep it so as new information came out and new products came out, we could update it with it. And so a big underlying part of this program is going to be what George has kind of gone over the last few weeks is that really stories sell and facts tell. Now, oftentimes, like I said earlier, people, I've been in the habit of this, you sometimes get so excited telling people about you know, cell cultures from Dr. Wentz and pharmaceutical grade manufacturing and that we're FDA approved uh, uh, place now. And people are just thinking, oh, I'm, oh what the heck, I, I just I, I want to feel better. And there's that disconnect there. Um, so we're going to blend um, lots of stories, and you heard some powerful stories tonight, with the facts that you sort of have and the details so people can really understand it. So we're going to do it through an interactive website, which will be open to, to everyone in USANA to use, um, with the information on there. And we're applying the 80-20 rule to it to really where the key components we need to get across to people, like the information, um, and to help people go out there and have success. One is a 90-day commitment uh, that Jason touched on at the minimum. You do a 90-day commitment at the very least. If you're not going to take the products for three months, and don't even bother starting them, then it's kind of the, the message that will be sent in a little bit politer way than what I said, but that, that will be the underlying message there. Um, and then it's to really help turn people into, uh, you know, educate people, but then turn them into customers for life. Because it's easy to get distracted by, you know, um, new marketing or new hype or this new berry found in some forest, whether it's the Amazon or Himalayas, that's so powerful that it's the craze for two or three years. Um, you know, solid-based science and solid-based research is not sexy. Um, and you know, and USANA, you know, their strength is that they're, they are science-based, so it's really educating people so we can turn people basically into a customer like Jason Parker is where, you know, he's been in the product for 13 years and has not missed, you know, one dose or one day. So we can use it as customer acquisition, as a retention tool, but then also as a new associate training. You know, the, oh, oftentimes associates come in for the business and the health, um, you know, to grow their finances and, and help, their, help them achieve their health goals, um, but one of the things that's helped me have success over the years is making sure I turn my associates into customers first, so to speak. That way people are taking the products for their own health and their own health goals, not taking the products, oh, I'm just buying this so I can hopefully make money with it. So there will be a lot more, and we'll do more detailed uh, trainings on there and what's coming, you know, how it's going to look, how it will work in the upcoming weeks. But it'll be released in early 2012, and it'll be a constant work in progress as we're updating and doing things. And we're really going to try and make it a hub for just uh, nutrition, for health, and for USANA information. So it's concise, well organized, and people can go there to grab what piece of information they need to uh, when they have a question. Uh, so before I turn it open, open for any questions, uh, Dr. Sam or Jason, do you have any final thoughts or? Uh, comments? Well, uh, nope. me pers personally, I'm just uh, I'm really excited about the program and and just I I can't I can't really even put into words how how much it'll mean to me f to be able to get this information out there on on a bigger scale. Uh, once once things roll out, uh, everybody on, on the call you'll you'll have a little bit better idea of of going a little deeper of of part of my my additional motivation to to uh, to wanting to help create this this program was something that happened to to a friend of mine, um, but I just uh, be able to be a part of this with like with with you, Chris, and and you, Dr. Sam. Like these these two guys, you, the Usana family is so so lucky to to have um, quality people like Chris and and Dr. Sam, and just the the amount of time that, that they're putting into into creating this is, is phenomenal and. And I mean, we're we're doing this to to make a difference and and to get uh, help people uh, to to you know to get healthier and, and learn the essentials for life. Well, well thank you so much, Jason. And um, so we'll take questions in, in two ways. Um, if you don't have phone access, you prefer typing. You can go to facebook.com/integritus group and you can post questions there. And in a minute. Um, I'll have George um, put the call into Q&A mode so you can call in and ask a question or just uh, dial in and ask a question. Um, I know oftentimes we've got Dr. Sam on here. He can't give 
you know, specific medical advice. So, um, you know, please don't ask for, you know, specific medical advice or protocols for, you know, specific health issues. Um, this is not the forum for that. And um, we won't go into too many details for Specialist for Life program. We'll kind of answer those later and, and show you some more visuals down the road. I really want the questions to focus on questions about the products, about the, uh, uh, their stories, or anything like that. So um, please post them on Facebook. And George, how can people ask a question on the phone? To ask a question on the phone, just simply hit star six, and that will bring you right on the call. Oh, well, that was pretty easy. <laughs> well, Dr. Sam, I guess we did a great job because uh, we must have answered everybody's questions. Hey, I tell well, you what, I, I thought that was a question that, that Shelby had, um, but I might need an interpreter. I don't speak Canadian, so. <laughs> so. Well, well, you guys aren't not that easy. I, I got a couple questions for you still. Um, I hear a caller out there, Chris. No, it's just it's Gemma. I just wanted to call and say thank you. That was that was awesome. I loved every second of the call, and you guys are so thorough. That's why I don't have any questions. Not that I don't want to, but you guys really covered a lot of information, and it was fantastic. So thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Gemma. Well, I've got one final question for you guys. But I think this um, sometimes get lost, or I you know I. You know, you guys re, re, hadn't even refocused on this when we were talking earlier today. Um, you know, everyone kind of knows the Dr. Wynn story about how he found, you know, Ball Laboratories, but um, both you guys have, have shared different little stories with me about, you know, having a figure like that, a, a Dr. Wynn's just with his background and the recognition he has around the whole scientific community, how that kind of makes USANA stand apart. Um, can you guys kind of elaborate on that? Hopefully you know what I'm, I'm asking here. I, I'm the old ahead, guy. I can, I can go first or I can go second. Go ahead. Go ahead. I, I, the, the one thing I, I often get asked questions uh, or, or individuals will say, well, you know, uh, 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 Dr. So-and-so uh, uh, recommends this, and Dr. So-and-so recommends this, or this specific uh, uh, personality, this doctor on the TV show recommends this, or in this website recommends this and this and this, as opposed to, to USANA. And, and the one thing that we have in USANA that is so unique is that each of those other doctors who are recommending those things has never cultured human cells and never has kept them alive for years and years and years, and never has fed them with the appropriate nutrients that they need to grow and to survive and to thrive. So the other doctors have a lot of knowledge. They, they truly do. And, and, and uh, you know, I'm not going to even put myself in, in that class, but, but I want to listen to somebody who actually has practical experience in taking care of human cells. And I know of no one in the nutritional supplement industry uh, other than uh, Dr. Myron Wentz who has that kind of experience. Yeah, and I, uh, I, I totally agree with that. And um, <laughs> I mean, if you, if you, what, it come, what it boils down to for, for me is that the, the number one reason why I – started using the USANA products is because of Dr. Wentz. <laughs> and so it, it doesn't matter what other product, uh, what, what, new, uh, you know, what new product comes down the line. If, like, like Chris said, if it's the, the latest new, uh, new berry from, from, uh, from the Himalayas or wherever, the bottom line is, is that the, the doctors who or the people that found those things, they haven't studied the human cell for decades, like what Dr. Wentz has, they, you know, the, the fact that that Dr. Wentz started a, started a, a company based on, was solely based on his ability to be able to culture cells and keep them alive, like that's how he, he was able to, to develop such a such an amazing company that ended up going in over 30 countries around the world, and when he switched that, like the, the other thing with, with Dr. Wentz is his motivation. That's, that's one of the other big things that, that is a really, is really important to me. His, his original motivation for starting the company came out of necessity and came out of need for his health 
and the health of his family. And when he originally, when he was written about in that book I talked about, Optimum Sports Nutrition, he hadn't yet started, he hadn't yet started USANA. In the book, it talked about Myron Wentz from Gull Laboratories. It didn't talk about USANA. And so the fact that he originally came up with these formulas and developed these products for himself and his own family, and it was other people that caught wind of what he was doing, what he'd done, what he created, and said, hey, you have to take this out to the masses because people need products like these. This can make a big difference in the world. And that's how USANA was actually born. That, for me, is, is just the, the epitome of, the, of strength and, and vision uh, and belief in, in a company, to help me build the belief in a company. And, and I don't personally know anybody else that has a, as powerful a story, uh, any other founder of a nutritional company that has as powerful a story as Dr. Wentz. All right. Well, well, thank you both. I and mean, you, you both uh, understood the question I was asking, and you did a, a great job of, uh, of uh, answering. I think it's a great thing to, uh, to to learn more about and to um, you know be reminded from from time to time. It's easy to forget to you know start taking things or figures for granted just because you uh, you get used to it. And I think it's always great to go back and revisit stories. Um, I heard Dr. Sam and Jason both said that earlier today, a few hours ago, while we were talking about the Such for Life program, and it kind of made me say, you know what, I kind of forgot about a couple of those things. It kind of you know, reminded me, so that's why I asked the question. Um, well, I don't think there's any questions. I think Gemma summed it up best that um, um, both you gentlemen did an excellent job of just uh, giving, delivering the information, uh, being so concise and clear with it that I think you just about nailed every single thing on there. Uh, so if there's any questions, uh, this is your chance. Otherwise, uh, we'll wrap up, uh, and I'll end with this slide. What actions are you taking to move your business forward this week? And I'll uh, update this slide since this is so focused on health as well. What actions are you taking to move your health forward this week? Um, have you fallen into any, you know, fallen into any, some, some habits you know, that aren't so good? Um, or you know, there's something been on, that's been on your list to do on your mind to go out there and, and research something or do something for your health. So you know, Usana uh, and our team is not only about you know helping people grow their business, but first and foremost is about helping people achieve their health goals. So, what actions are you taking to move your business forward this week, and what actions are you taking to improve your health this week as well? Uh, George, I'll turn it over to you to uh, end the call. Thanks, Chris, and uh, a huge and big thank you to Dr. Sam and Jason Parker. You guys just did a, a great job tonight, and uh, I just love listening to you guys. Your stories are amazing, uh, and it's, it's always uh, heartwarming to hear these stories. Uh, so I really appreciate you guys being on the call with us, and I really look forward to this program, The Essentials for Life, that uh, you guys have put together with Chris. It's going to be a huge way for us to pass, pass on what we're enjoying and experiencing in our lives health-wise uh, to be able to spread that much farther and wider with the program you guys are putting together. So thank you, uh, all three of you, for putting that together. I know how much work it takes to put something like that together. Uh, there's a tremendous amount of uh, effort and work that goes into that. And uh, the good that it will do for people's health is just going to be phenomenal. With that, I will say good night to everyone. Thank you, everyone, for being on the call, and we'll catch you next week. Good night. Thank good night, you, everyone. George. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thanks, guys.